Hello YouTube, this is uh, Thompson 8737 uh, bringing you an airport update. Uh, this update is like pretty big to be honest. Uh, there's quite a few schedules in. Um, once again, this is just based on the compiled schedules that I've done, taken from uh, Flight Radar 24 using um, Mallorca's schedules, but obviously compiled down to fit my collection. Um, and like I say, each each day uh, doesn't have you know doesn't have the same aircraft in, so you know one day you might have a, a Monarch A321 and then one day you might not. You know it's like mixed. You know it's not just all all the same. So you know each update will be different. Um, you know if I get to the point where I'm doing like the same updates, I'll probably try and do something a bit different. Um, unless I've got something to talk about. Uh, crack on the update, got a few things to mention at the end of the video as well, uh, at the end of the uh, update, so yeah, if you want to stay tuned for that then by all means do, if you're just here for the update, then that's fair enough. Uh, so starting off, um, just a vacating runway, well today we're on um, landing and um, departing aircraft are using runway 06, so this is just vacating the runway. Uh, coming in from Menorca or Mahon, which is like the name of the airport. Uh, then we have uh, this uh, SAS uh, SAS 736, uh, which is coming in, which is coming from Stockholm. Next to that we have an EasyJet um, A319, um, which. Uh, came in from Liverpool and then you know, just beyond that we have uh, the Air Europa um, 738 which uh, will be heading out to Barcelona as you can see just taxiing out um, then in the far distance we have a Transavia 737 700 uh, which will be heading out to Eindhoven uh, then beyond the uh, Air Europa we have a Monarch A321. See if I can just zoom in a bit more. Um, a Monarch A321, uh, which came in from Birmingham, as you can see, uh, with the catering service vehicles, uh, pretty much halfway through through its turnaround process. Uh, next to that, we have we have a Thompson 738, which came in from Manchester. Then we have a Thompson 757-200. Uh, which came in from Gatwick. Um, I just want to mention as well, um, like I say, accessories are a bit limited, so some aircraft, um, like the Thompsons, should be pretty much, you know, being near enough be surrounded by, you know, ground service equipment, but obviously due to limitation, it's hard to sort of replicate that. Um, over in the far distance, we have a few, uh, a few of the biz jets. As you can see, there's a pushback tug. Um, one of the Learjet 45s, as you can see, one is there, and one has gone out to uh, Madrid in Spain. Um, we'll be stopping over in Madrid for a few days, so we won't be seeing that um, back at the airport for a while. Uh, then we have this um, Iberia CRJ, which is the base aircraft um, at this airport. This will be going out to its uh, daily service to Mallorca. Then we have this um, another EasyJet A319 this will be heading out very soon this is basically just uh, locked its doors and everything um, you know the passengers just getting settled and this will be heading out to Bristol then we have this Ryanair 738 uh, which will also be going out to Bristol uh, but as you can see instead this is uh, pretty much you know once again halfway through its um, Turnaround process, and I, to be, uh, I don't include um, air stairs to the front of these aircraft uh, purely because I, mean, I don't know if you can see uh, purely because Ryanair usually have the air stairs built in to the aircraft. So yeah, that's why I've done that. So just sort of imagine, you know, if you ever see a Ryanair without you know air stairs at the front of the aircraft, that's that's why. Um, then we have this other Ryanair seven three eight. Which will be uh, just needs uh, the baggage belt to be moved out of the way, and then uh, we'll be heading out to Bilund, and then across the far side of the apron uh, we have this white A three ten, 
which um, will also be heading out very soon. This came in um, uh, earlier on as well. Uh, this will be heading out to uh, Lisbon in Portugal. <clears throat> so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this app update, guys. Um, I'd say very pretty big, um, pretty good, big update. Pl plenty of schedules. Uh, just to give you a bit of an overview there. Um, yeah, just a bit of news to talk about. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so basically. Uh, yeah, with the Thomas Cook, uh, Thomas Cook case for 21 has been postponed um, by Phoenix. It's a bit, you know, obviously it's disappointing, but, you know, at least, we, you know, we still should be getting them the month after. So, you know, not, not a huge deal. Um, I will, I haven't scheduled them into my schedules uh, yet, but I will be doing that um, as soon as they come. Um, the Ryanair, of course... Probably I'll have to wait for that as well because it's the same order and the Condor A321 as well. Um, I've already scheduled in the Ryanair, so actually one of these Ryanairs is obviously that these Ryanairs that I've included in the update are the same, uh, the original Phoenix release. Um, but one of them will be swapped with the new one, and basically I'll, you know, I will actually be changing aircraft around. So I, you know, if I saw. <clears throat> it's a bit like with the EasyJets as well. I don't just think, oh, right, there's an EasyJet E319. It's already out of its box. I'll use that. I actually, you know, like I say, I'm scheduling them with the registration. So it is a bit different. Um, you might, it not might not be a drastic um, thing in the update to notice, but, you know, that's how I'm doing it. Um, you know, just to keep it, like, sort of realistic. Um, you know, I don't want to do it too realistic where you think I'm going overboard, but... Yeah, that you know that's how I like to do things. So, uh, so there's that. Yeah, a bit you know disappointing with the Tom's Cook uh, being uh, postponed, but you know it's not it's not a huge deal yet. You know, um, you know of course if you know they postponed it again, it'd be thingy. But you know they've done it before, and we've you know, I think it's because it's been such big um, a release, that, and they've released other stuff as well. So they might think, you know, people might want to spread the cost out a bit to get the most orders that they can possibly get. I th I personally think it's that. Um, <clears throat> I could be wrong. Um, in other news, if you followed me on Instagram, um, you will be aware that I passed my driving test. Um, <clears throat> I've, I've obviously got the certificate, um, so that's what I posted on Instagram. Uh, I've got to wait for my license, but that does actually act as my license now, so I can, I can drive. Uh, I've got my own car. Um, it's insured, you know, we've insured it, taxed it, and got its MOT, passed its MOT. Um, it's just a, a little Nissan Micra. Um, <clears throat> you know, it's, at the end of the day, it's a car. You know, it gets me about and whatever. The only thing is, I can't drive it just yet, because I, basically I learned to drive in a diesel car, and the clutch... Um, and setting the gas and finding the bike point and everything like that, it's, it's slightly different. <clears throat> I can move off, but I, I mean, I drove around like my estate the other day and, well, yesterday, and I did stall a few times uh, because it, I mean, it's new, it, you know, it's a new car. You know, it might happen with, you know, no matter what car you get, you know what I mean? Just trying to get used to it. But yeah, the diesel and petrol, it's, it is a bit different. So, you know, hopefully it shouldn't be too long before I'm on the road. Uh, once I am able to drive, um, obviously I'll be, you know, I'm looking for work at the minute. Um, and hopefully a job will come my way. But I'm hoping I'll be able to go down to the airport as well. Because we've got some pretty decent summer schedules in this year. Um, a Europa have come back um, using 737-800s. Um, course um they're flying out to tenerife that's just a one uh once every friday um so that, yeah that's pretty good i think that's like a full summer schedule though so like from may to october i believe um or it might end a bit short it might end a bit earlier than that i'm not too sure then we've got thomas cook coming back uh using g nico a321 um then we have uh, Honor Air, which I'm not sure if they are operating for Thomas Cook. I think they did last year. Um, 
but yeah, that'll be good uh, to see them come back as well. Um, we've got Nouvelle, uh, which will be heading out to Enfida. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if they are part of Thomas Cook as well. I'm not too sure. But yeah, uh, Nouvelle, that's you know, a pretty good airline to see as well. So, so yeah, summer schedules are pretty good at Doncaster because during the winter it's, it is pretty dead unless we get something... Uh, like a cargo aircraft. Uh, I mean, we recently had an Atlas Air seven four four. We have we've had a few. We had an Antonov uh, twenty six um, the other day. You know, we we get all sorts of stuff for, throughout the year, but you know, summer schedules because it's like a regular thing. It's uh, it, you know, it's a bit better. You know, you don't have to sort of trip all the way to Manchester to see a good. Uh, I mean, it's not too busy where you can stop there all day, but. You know, you've got more reason to go rather than just seeing like you know, even you know, even the winter Thompson are pretty dead. Um, they don't really operate that much um, compared to what they used to. I don't think anyway. Wizz Air operating more flights than probably any other airline. Um, I mean, Flybe. I don't think they operate in winter. Um, they they're using the ERJ one seventy or one nine five uh, at Doncaster. I think it's the uh, the one seventy. I think. Or well, it could be the one nine five. I'm not sure, but yeah, they operate on Saturdays. Um, but like with the flyby, I think it's just like one schedule. That, you know, nothing else comes in or anything during that time. So it's a bit like, well, yeah, I'll be going down to see that aircraft, but it'd be good, you know, to have a few more scheduled within like an hour or something, because that's how it used to be. We used to have like, you know, you know, in the summer months, we used to have like eight aircraft come in within an hour it was just like or you know two hours it was just it was just crazy uh i mean we've got like a total of eight stands you know not everyone gets used but you know back in the day there'd be like four on on the apron and then they'd like come out and all that sort of thing so yeah that'd be great so yeah if i you know get used to sort of driving my car um get used to the bike point and the clutch then uh hopefully you know i'll be uploading some uh you know, content at the airport and stuff like that. Um, like I said, I've just got to get used to the clutch and stuff around, you know, my estate. Then I'll probably venture out a bit more and then, until I get, you know, really confident with, you know, the new, um, you know, like the new control, I suppose you might call it. Um, because like I'd say driving the diesel is, I'd say it's a bit easier, but obviously diesel cars, you know, are usually a bit more in cost, uh, you know, fuel and whatever. Um, so yeah, I just want to say, you know, thanks for watching guys, um, so that's a bit of news for you, uh, so good news, you know, I passed my driving test, I've just got to get used to my own car now, um, um, hopefully, you know, like I say, I'll get a job soon as well, and, uh, hopefully, you know, we'll continue seeing some great releases, uh, that I can show you guys on this airport update, uh, on this airport and Manchester. Um, that's the thing I want to say as well, Manchester, I haven't really got an update plan for that airport because, um, I, I don't know, I, ju I just feel like I'm showing like the same things all the time on that airport, you know, there's not really much variety, if you know what I mean. Uh, I mean most of these on, on this airport update, you, you've sort of seen before, but it's sort of different, if you know what I mean, it's laid out a bit different. Whereas Manchester, it just seems to be, like, pretty repetitive. Uh, but whatever. Um, I, like I said, I probably won't be doing an update this week. Um, if something, you know, comes into Manchester in real life, that's a bit, you know, interesting, then, you know, like I said, with the summer schedule starting, then I'll probably do something along them line. So stay tuned. Um, and obviously, if I do do one, of course, I'll upload it and etc. Um... Thanks for watching guys, if you've got any questions, comments, uh, please post them below or send me a private message. Um, uh, like I say, thanks for watching guys, I'll see you soon. Goodbye.